welcome to my review of King Kong vs. Godzilla. Directed by Ishiro Honda. Starring people's names who I cannot pronounce. I'm very sorry. I cannot pronounce Japanese names. <laughs> I'm very sorry. But, um, yeah, basically, this is the third official King Kong movie. And, uh... This time, King Kong is going up against Godzilla, who is also another famous monster. Um, <coughs> I do apologise for my uh, voice in this review. I have a bit of a cold. Uh, I'm on the bare end of it, so hopefully I'll be able to get through this review as quickly as I can. Okay, so the essential story of this film is that it basically centres around this pharmaceutical company who end up going on Skull Island, well it's not called Skull Island in this film, but on, on an island where they find King Kong and they bring him back to Japan um, and then he causes havoc and they realise that the only way for but also Godzilla has uh, emerged from the seas of, of Japan and is uh, wreaking havoc in Japan so they think they decide that the only reason to the only way of um, uh, destroying both of these beasts is if they destroy each other. So they they put um, King Kong and Godzilla together to battle each other until death. So that's pretty much the plot. <coughs> um, just like um, just like. Uh, the um, Fistful of Dollars movie, I was able to watch a version of this on YouTube um, with the help of my friend Jack McCulloch for giving me the link. Um, King Kong vs. Godzilla. Um, this is a good film. Um, I certainly enjoyed it a bit more than the previous film, which was Son of Kong. Uh, that movie was very uh, <coughs> mediocre by comparison to the original. I mean, this film is not a masterpiece by any stretch of the imagination. Far from it. But it's a good, decent, fun movie. And it's very iconic, obviously, because it has both King Kong and Godzilla in it as well. <coughs> and it was really interesting to see both of these creatures fight it out. Um, ultimately... Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, I was interrupted. Um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was going to say. So, yeah, the negative things of this film definitely stick out to me. Um, for one thing, I don't give a shit about any of the human characters. I just don't care. I mean, this film is a Japanese film, which is understandable, so all the characters are Japanese. That's fine, I don't have a problem with that. What I take issue with is the dubbing. The American dubbing is terrible for this film. It's so forced, it's so unnatural. I mean, if you're going to do it, at least act natural. But they don't. Um, and consequently, it ruins the film a little bit for me. Um, and also, there's just too many characters. I just I can't follow who's who, and it's it's a bit confusing, really. This film is, is not about its human characters, which is fine. I mean, it knows what it is. This is a B-movie. It is a B-movie with two big monsters, and what it is made for is the spectacle. Uh, I mean, the first half is a bit slow. It's like, yeah, okay, build up, you know, get it. Um, and I like the style of the way it was done in the news reports and the media coverage, the way it was, uh, the way the tensions were built up by how we're following the two monsters through the news coverage, uh, which I thought was interesting. But the characters aren't developed, but that's not, it's not a major thing for this particular film, because it's not about the human characters, but as a film person, I, it's what I look for in a film. I look for good character development, and there just wasn't any in this film. Uh, the direction by Ishiro Honda is good, and I think the puppetry slash animation work is, is good. Um, they do repeat a lot of the same sound effects though, which can get slightly repetitive, but overall, for what it tried to do, 
it's a good movie with great spectacle and I think it's a very enjoyable film um, <coughs> I think the climax is very good it takes a while for the two beasts to actually kind of meet but it's still pretty good it, it feels like there's more of Godzilla in the first half than King Kong but um oh, excuse me there's, there's equal amounts of enjoyment to be had uh, on both accounts uh, and it gets me excited because obviously we're getting a live action CGI um, it, film of, of um, King Kong versus Godzilla which will come out I think in the next couple of years um, part of the monster cinematic universe um, we've had the two recent films with the, sep with the characters sep separate um, Godzilla from 2014 and Kong Skull Island uh, which came out last year so we've had a couple of those films so that that'll be the next one um, as for this one it's pretty good I mean it was made in 1962 and it looks pretty great for what it is the production value show um, there's just nothing grand about the human characters there's there's a lack of stake there's a lack of stakes um, I mean there's it's great spectacle but you don't get the sense of stakes like there's a scene when Kong is holding one of the character's sisters but you don't feel anything because you don't know who she is you don't really connect with any of the characters even though they try and have some some character moments I'm just completely confused by the whole thing I don't really know who's who it's very hard to follow the characters but that being said oh excuse me it's a very entertaining fun decent ride um and there's that's it, yeah, there's not much more I can say about it. It's quite a brief <laughs> brief review, but I'm trying to summarise this as best as I can because I have a bit of a cold. <coughs> so, on a final score, I'm going to score King Kong vs. Godzilla a 7 out of 10. So that's my review of King Kong vs. Godzilla. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Um, next time we review King Kong Escapes. Um, I, I believe that's the next one anyway. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more future reviews. Uh, my next review is going to be a big one. Yes, I'm going to be reviewing 2001 A Space Odyssey. Ooh, as requested by Alan Kalo. It's been a long time coming. I've finally managed to get access to the film. So I'm going to sit down, sit on my ass, watch the damn thing, and review it for Alan and for everyone else. Uh, it's a bit of a classic, so, uh, well, from what I've been told. So I look forward to giving you my thoughts on that. Uh, also, next Harry Potter review is The Deathly Hallows Part 1, as well as um, reviews of A Few Dollars More. Uh, Solo a Star Wars Story is coming out, I'm going to review that as well as well as Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Um, Deadpool 2 review is coming up. Uh, well, actually, it might already be up, depending on when you watch this. I think it actually is already up. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, there's tons of stuff to look forward to, as well as Mission Impossible Fallout. Um, I did review the first five Mission Impossible films on my other channel, Ollie Pajak. I'm debating what to... I might re-upload them to this channel, just so I've got them here all the all the videos on the same channel um i did those reviews about three years ago so <laughs> i'll have to um i'll have to do that i have to um move those onto this channel if i can but um yeah a lot of great stuff for me to for, to do and obviously i'll be honoring some more requests that i've, that I've been given to do as well so yes <laughs> thank you guys all for watching and as always i'm mr tyler 11 see ya <laughs>